Good morning, this is Ruth from Beaver Creek again and out in the ditch doing some new ditch weeds uh, for you. Uh, I thought I'd talk about two that can be a little bit confusing especially if you're looking at them just as you're driving by. Um, there are these purple blooming flowers. Uh, one is really good and one isn't so good. I'm going to start with the good one. This guy right here next to me is bergamot. Now bergamot uh, is a native plant. It's a member of the mint family. It can be used in making teas and those types of things. In fact, it's a component of Earl Grey tea. Um, and so it's got a fairly large flower head to me, uh, purple, purple blossoms. And the square, being in the mint family, it has a square stem on it. Um, and so it's very obvious if you get up and you can feel the, the square stem on it. Um, and so again, this is bergamot or bee balm, uh, some people will call it, it's a monarda. Um, so good, a native plant that's a good one. Um, and now we're going to take a look at a similar looking one that's a complete and total invasive. You may see it similar in color, uh, shade color, are, is this flower right here. And you can see behind me it's kind of taking over this ditch. Uh, now this is not a good plant. When we get up close to this, uh, we can see the flower and the leaf pattern is completely different. This is a plant known as spotted knapweed. So the plant is in a family of centurion, which is, uh, you can go to the nurseries and buy one for your garden called bachelor button. Uh, so it has that kind of a, a spiky little flower uh, appearance to it. The leaves are kind of a bluish green, very narrow on fairly long stems, and there's multiple stems shooting out of one root base. Uh, so when you pull this, you need to be right at the ground so you can see that you've got the whole plant and, and uh, get it pulled out. Uh, the seeds can stay uh, viable for up to eight years uh, in an area. So it's something that you, if you have napweed, you're probably going to have to keep pulling it uh, over and over again. Now, spotted napweed is an, aggress an aggressive invasive species. Uh, big problems with uh, napweed is that each plant can produce a thousand or more seeds, uh, so it's readily spread by seeds. Uh, the seeds get picked up by lawnmowers and that and spread down the ditches. Um, and then it just sort of marches its way into the ditch and into the other plants. Uh, it produces a toxin which can keep other plants from growing or reduce their abilities to grow. Uh, and one of the big problems is it's not, it's not really good for much. There's, uh, it's not a good browse for uh, deer or for cows. Uh, it also doesn't provide cover like some of our native plants will do and it just chokes out the native plant. Uh, and so we see these, uh, this bloom. Um, it's one that really should be controlled uh, either manually. Uh, here at the reserve we usually have uh, teams of volunteers who come out and uh, we'll pull it. You pull it from the from the ground. It's got a pretty good root system on it. If you're pulling it, you do need to put it in a garbage can or in a garbage bag. Mark the bag as an invasive species, and you can throw that in your uh, in your regular trash pickup. Um, that's uh, about the only way you can get rid of of that. Uh, some people will go to an herbicide. Will kill like with a Roundup or that. Um, that's a, a little bit of an aggressive move, uh, and also you have to kind of take into consideration where you're where you're at. All right. So as you're driving down the road, remember that not all the purple flowers are the same. Uh, we have a lot of different flowering go things going on right now, uh, and the two that are similar again are the good bergamot or bee balm, and then the not so good or really kind of bad spotted knapweed. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Eric Keisler, Executive Director from Beaver Creek Reserve. Thanks for watching this great educational video from our staff. To find out more information like this and others, check out our website at beavercreekreserve.org. You can also support us by being a member or donating to our endowment campaign, which is supporting Beaver Creek through this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you. We appreciate your time.